Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I'm a Hatch Educator and today we're going to talk about a scallop stitch and how you can quickly and easily make a scallop stitch in Hatch. So the first thing we want to do is put on our grid because we're going to need some of these squares to make it really nice. So let's go to, uh, let's go to digitize, of course, and we're going to digitize an open shape. You can freehand it as well, but for this one, I'm going to use digitize open shape because I'm only going to put three points down for making really nice curves. You want that less is more. So you want to put the least amount amount of nodes as possible. So let's go here, let's use our grid and we're going to left click and I have my cursors across here and this makes it easy and fantastic for precision placing. So I'm going to line it up with my grid and I'm going to left click. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to left click and that's all we want to do. And I'm going to hit enter and go back to our select. Now look how perfect that curve is. I absolutely love it. So that's one scallop. And you, of course, because it's an EMB file, you can resize it all you want. But we want more than one scallop, don't we? So let's go to layout. Let's go to mirror copy horizontal. And as you slide your cursor around, you see that it uh, duplicates it. So what we want to do is we want it to merge into one piece. So we're going to put it just overlapping just ever so slightly. Click. Do you want to merge the overlapped objects? Yes. And we have our scallop. Now all we have to do is select that mirror copy and do it again and make sure our overlap is just about the same that works yes i want to and it makes it really easy and you see how straight it is because i lined it up but it makes it really easy so the next one you can group all these four and you can keep going now if you wanted um oh i also wanted to show you resequence you can see that it's one piece that we've merged it in one piece. I always like to work with my resequence up because I can see what I'm doing and I don't want to make any mistakes. So what we want to do here is select that. If that doesn't come up, you double click on it. Let's change it to satin and wow, that didn't work, did it? So let's change our corners. That still didn't work. I really don't like that. So let's start it again. So let's delete this. Let's do it. Let's do that again. Let's go and we want to do it satin stitch. So we're going to do the same thing. Carefully line it up. Left click. Line it up again right in the middle. Right click and left click and we're going to hit enter and we're going to go back to our select key and let's change it to satin now that looks pretty good like that now you can experiment a little bit if you get it just right it works if you don't it doesn't however there's a really good way around it so i just went to the mirror copy horizontal and all you have to do is put it beside and if you see it didn't ask me if i wanted to merge it and basically that's what you're going to do now there's not going to be a jump stitch because it's going to end and start right here because I have closest connections on and you want to do your next one just like that awesome doesn't that look pretty now if you want this I don't think you want the pointed edge down so this is how to do it for satin stitches and once you have the the satin stitches done you can change you know, you can change it all you want to motif stitches um, and have a pretty scallop. You can go through the motif stitches and pick something. You can put it back on satin. Now, if you do this, let's take our one. I'm just going to move it down and let's go to the mirror copy horizontal. And if you just kind of touch it on the edge and we can merge it, it still does that. And it's OK because this is kind of small. I personally think this part looks way better. And what would you would do generally if you're making a scalloped edge? Let's go back to edit object. No, not edit objects. Let's go back to digitize and digitize open shape. And we're going to left click, you know, right about there. And I'm going to hold down the control key so I get a nice, perfectly straight line. Let's move it back up here a little bit and left click and enter 
and I did want that satin so I could have picked that out in the first place but I didn't so let's change it to satin now the ending looks absolutely perfect and you have a perfectly smooth uh, scalloped edge and that's how it's done here inside hatch embroidery software thanks everyone for watching thanks for asking the question in the group and I'll see you guys in the next video